During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about yield monitors and yield maps, and we especially want to speak to non-farmers out there. This is a tremendous tool, the, the whole yield monitor thing, that farmers never used to have. When Darren and I were growing up on the farm, or even as young agronomists, we did not have this. I can't even imagine farming without this today, so we want to explain exactly what it is and what the benefits are for us as farmers. Growing up on the farm, I thought the greatest invention ever was an air-conditioned enclosed cab on a tractor. That was nice for me because it was more comfortable to be out in the field. But the yield monitor is by far the most valuable invention that's happened in farming because we can see the variance out in fields. It was a game changer for us because now as that combine drives through the field, you just constantly get updates on, oh, my yield's 200 bushel corn right now. Oh, now my yield's only 140 bushel. I can flag that spot in my field and say, okay, what's going on out here? What happened? Why did I lose yield in that spot? And by the same token, I can find that spot that goes 280 bushel corn and say, wow, everything's right over here. What's different? Because here's the thing, as farmers, many times if we have a disappointing yield out in a field, it's easy to say, well, you know, if we would have caught one more rain, that would have made all the difference in the world. Well, guess what? That field got the same rain but one area went 280 bushel and one went 140 bushel. The yield monitor lets us find where those areas are out in the field and now we can start improving them for the future. Once you have all that information from the field, then you can print that off on a yield map. What we have then is different colors and you can certainly set the parameters for that too. So for example, a lot of times the standard map will have five colors or seven. What I typically do is have it set to 12 different colors. So I have 12 different ranges of yield and I might even have 20 or 30. I just want to see as much as I can what made a difference in the field. Now we use this to evaluate everything, to evaluate fungicides, herbicides, insecticides, fertility, seed varieties, almost anything that we can do out in the field, now this gives us a great way to measure it. The other thing that's really interesting about this brand is you can see patterns on those maps. Like you mentioned, we'll use different colors to show different ranges of yield. Okay, here's the 260 to 280 bushel yield, here's the 240 to 260 bushel yield, and so on. And when we see those patterns out in the field, we can start evaluating our farming practices. Maybe it was nothing that we did this year, but we're seeing problems from last year show up. Oh, I didn't get my residue spread evenly, or oh, I didn't spread the fertilizer quite evenly last year, and now it's showing up on this year's yield map. That's pretty impactful on farms, just knowing that every time we go out in the field, we're making a big difference. Unfortunately, one of the things that shows up on yield maps and yield monitors far too often is when we as farmers don't do a good job with weed control. If you've got this week's weed, we'll show you how to stop it on your farm later in the show. <laughs>